Okay, I'm going to walk through installing Sigwin on Windows 10. First, bring up your browser. And we want to go to github.com slash lakels slash videos. That's L-A-K-E-L-S-E slash videos. And I'll make sure to link to this in the description. And here, this is where I'm going to have instructions alongside the videos I create. Uh, I think having them written out is helpful, uh, especially if you want to refer to it later without having to sit and watch a video, which can be pretty time consuming. So how to install Sigwin on Windows 10? Number one, download Sigwin from sigwin.com. So let's open up that link in a new tab. If you have a 64-bit version of Windows, click this first one here. If you have a 32-bit, click this. For those of you that are unsure if you have 64-bit or 32-bit, in my case I have a 32-bit install of Windows uh, 10 Home. You can, if you're unsure, just follow along with me and click for the 32-bit version here. And I'll save that. Okay, I think that shows that it's downloaded, it's completed. I'm going to go, I'm going to open up File Explorer here and find the downloads folder and there it is there's the file that we've downloaded so let's go back to the instructions to open file explorer and create a folder in your home directory called sigwin installer next move the sigwin install executable to the sigwin installer folder so I'm going to open up another file explorer And just as it said there, it's under C. Usually it's going to be under C backslash users. If I just hit enter, you'll see that there's John. That's my username. And here I'm going to create a new folder called Sig Siglin Installer. And I'll open that up. And it says to move the Sigwin install executable to that folder. So that's what I'm going to do now is drag it over there. And we'll close the downloads folder. And we'll continue to work out of this Sigwin installer folder. Okay, so next, number three, run the installer executable. Using File Explorer, double click on the file as the case may be. For each section of the installer, do the following. So let's get the installer running. Click yes to allow that to run. And we'll click next on this first screen. Here it says choose a download source. We're selecting from the internet. So let's go next. Select root install directory. I'm going to go with C colon backslash Sigwin. You can put whatever directory you want there. You might prefer a different location. And I'm just going to allow, I'm just going to keep it on all users here, uh, their recommended option, and then click Next. Okay, select local, uh, select local package directory. You should, you should see that directory that we just that we just created, and click Next. We'll go with the system proxy settings, unless you have something that you want to specify here differently. Just go with the default. We'll click Next. Um, choose a download site. Actually, I'll just scroll down here a bit. So ideally, you'd probably choose a location here that geographically is closest to you, but uh, it's probably not a big deal just to select anyone. I'm going to go with one that's familiar to me. Um, let's see here, the Manitoba Unix Users Group, and I'll click Next. Okay, then the next one here. Bring this. Uh, so select packages. This may seem counterintuitive, but for now, let's not select any packages. And I'll just show you here. There is all these different packages that we can install. Uh, for now, we just want to install the base, just the basic Sigwin. And as we need packages, we will install them in future videos. So then from there, we can click Next. And we can review and confirm changes. That looks OK to me. Click Next. And now it's going to start downloading and installing. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video. And when it's done on my end, I will 
start it up again so you don't have to watch me here. So I'll pause it now. Okay, so we're back here and the install has completed. Let's see, create icons, choose create icon on desktop. So that's what's selected. I don't need it on the start menu, but the desktop's fine. But if you want to put it there on your start menu, that's fine too. So we'll click finish. And then number four, confirm that Sigwin is installed. So I'm gonna actually close this and you'll see that on my desktop, I've got the Sigwin icon. Let's click on that to start it up. And you'll see that it's, it's uh, set up a couple things here. Um, this shows that Sigwin's running and if you type a couple commands, maybe one here, ls-al shows the contents of the of that directory. And that confirms that Sigwin is installed and it's working. On future videos, we'll continue on, um, but that's it for now.